B calls is one of the strongest points of our new update and we're going to show in this tutorial how to change them into your favorite models. You have to go to resources, photon prefabs and in this case we're going to change just the tank. So the tank as you can see here is composed by different elements which can be changed easily. The idea is to use the model we want to uh, uh, incorporate dragging it into our you can see into our system there and you can see that it has a lot of parts but in fact the part that we need to use is this one that is the turret you can see we have to rotate this with the other elements too so it's not set properly pivots are not set properly we'll do that in just a few seconds we have to go to prefab we have to unpack the prefab as always and then you can see here in the tank that this is the game object that contains the other things. So we're going to adapt the position and rotation and everything of, and the scale of our tank, our new tank, to the one we want to use. So it will be something like this, minus 90 degrees. And then we're going to say, okay, this is a little bit lower, it should be higher. Something like that, more or less. Do you agree? Yeah, more or less. And now we say, okay, mm, we want to use this game object here. There's going to be a lot of stuff. Yeah, has a lot of stuff. This this tank is not the best one. It's not the best example, but well, it's the one we found for free to show you to you. And uh, we're going to put that here inside the tank. So we're going just to drag this and put it here and then say okay this that is the tank with the mesh collider and over everything and uh, there's going to be the chassis has a turret in it too as you can see and it has the photon transfer view so in fact we need those two things to work so we're going to say okay we're going to put this tank there inside of this one instead and say we don't want to see the mesh of the tank then we're going to hide this one too because this is like the lights that are underneath and then the turret we're going also to say we don't want to use the turret there neither the weapon and we're going to say okay the weapon is going to be this weapon here they're going to go up and down with uh, only that part, yes. So the gun barrel here, we're going to move it up inside the weapon. So just drag it and wait for it. I'm going to put it there. And then we're going to change the ref or the gun barrel. Yes, the gun barrel here, sorry, this part. What? I know it's, it's because we know. Yeah, sorry. It's because uh, where is it? This is the ref for the game object, and this is the ref for shooting. So this one that is the ref for shooting, we have to put it here. There's going to be at the end of the barrel. You can change the different axes and center, center them like that. Okay. Yeah, nice. And then as this tank is bigger, well, there are other objects that you can delete, delete like the engines. And um, very important, these um, buttons there, we're going to leave them as they are. You can adjust the position too. They are used to get inside tanks, so they must be there. And now uh, in the tank script, you can see that we can also uh, say, okay, we want to show or not to show these renders whenever we get inside the tank. So we're going to put this to zero. We're going to lock this here and we're going to select each single mesh here and put it in the rents like that 
Okay. So this is just a test and it's just an example. I recommend, I strongly recommend finding a better model than I, the one that I, I did. But I think we have almost everything set up to work properly. Yeah. We'll see how this gets. Maybe it's too low or too high. We don't know yet. We're going to test it. So um, we're going to hit play. And I'm going to show you another feature from the game here. Whenever you load into the menu, if you don't want to put on your glasses and you want to do tests really fast and log in really fast, you can go ahead to player info and say, okay, I want to log into the uh, weapon uh, into the map number three. Uh, sorry, to the map number two. Okay, zero is the first one, one is the second one, and two is the third one. So map number two. There's going to be the third scene, multiplayer scene. And um, you, then you can go to the lobby and say, I want to join the room. And then yeah, I want to start the game. I want to start the game. I want to join the room. I want to start the game. I want to start the game. And finally it works because it's getting a lot of uh, photon problems to connect. I don't know why. So finally we are connected. And let me see if we have a tank that is quite close to our player. And let's get inside of it. We have a plane there. Where's the tank? The tank is a bit far. Oh my god, the tank is a bit far. I'm going to move the tank then in the detour because I don't want to go walking. I'm tired today. I'm not walking there. So, um, if my player is here, where's my player? The player is there. I need to check there. Okay, the player is there. And the tank is here. I'm going to move this tank if it lets me. I'm going to move the tank clone. I'm going to put it here. You see, PC. And now let's see if I can get inside of it and see if everything works properly without any kind of error. Let's see, we have a photon error there. We'll see what happens. So I press the button and I'm in the tank. And what did I do? That I am out the tank again. I'm going to check if I can get it. Okay, I, I press the button without knowing. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, and you can see that the turret is not centered. It's a bit, you can see the turret there. Um, so the turret is there, it's working, everything is working. Shooting is also working. You can see that it's a bit messed up regarding the different axes. But the tank is working and the multiplayer is going to work too. Uh, it's moving forwards, moving backwards. There is no problems. The only thing that you have to do is adjust the position of the, of the actual um, barrel and everything is going to work fine. And now I'm going to get out the tank again and see if the renders are activated properly. As you can see that the gun bar is going to stay as we left it. Okay, we left it there like that. So this is the nice things about multiplayer that is going to leave the things as they uh, are by the player. So thanks for watching this last tutorial in which we are merging uh, the different uh, vehicle um, meshes. And if you have any questions, if you need more information about our package, if you want to join our Discord and start asking questions about what we are doing, because we are doing a lot, a lot, a lot of st new stuff, and we want to mm, make you uh, participate in this project. We want you to feel useful. We want you to uh, be a debugger. We want also to use this package and build a fantastic, incredible, and outstanding game. So please, please join us in this project. Please help us making the future of VR games.